exhilarating and the feeling of just landing and staying on the beam or staying on the floor, it's just, it's really fun. I started competing when I was seven um, and I went up until I was about 17. I had been falling down the stairs a lot. Like I would just be walking and my knees would give out and I thought I was just clumsy. Um, and I, f I would just fall and I fell maybe 12 to 15 times in that six months. So he sat down and then he looked at me and he said, we found something. Um, there's something very, very wrong. This very large tumor that was occupying the entire central portion of her spinal cord at the level that controls breathing. Which means uh, loss of uh, movement and uh, potentially also a feeling in the arms and the legs and possibly uh, unable to breathe and therefore unable to speak because of uh, paralysis of the diaphragm muscles that enable one to activate the vocal cords. I'm just so grateful that, you know, out of the, I don't know, three guys, he was the one to step in and say, hey, I can do it. The uh, spinal cord had to be opened through an incision uh, extending right along the center from here down to there, and then in a very uh, delicate operation, uh, carefully protecting the preserved portions of the spinal cord and all the nerves running up and down from the brain to the body. The tumor needs to be shrunken and then gradually removed in a piecemeal fashion. I just feel so fortunate to have recovered this far because there are many, many people who they don't recover. The, the, the recovery kind of stops at, at some point. So for me, it has been a tribute to the human spirit and more specifically to Angelica as uh, one of the strongest and, and uh, most uh, uh, courageous patients I've ever had and, and young people I've ever met. Every time I go back to UCSF, I always make it a point to really try and see, even if I'm not there for an appointment, I always want to see Dr. Weinstein because I remember, I don't know if he remembers this, but the last thing I said to him before I moved to rehab was, thank you, you know, you saved my life. I always tell my mom, like, I love, you know, I love my life. I love how many people that I've met through this and how many friendships have grown because of this. And just not many people get to have have this perspective and it's really a I think it's really a gift and I would never ever return it